I'm using hand files a lot for my projects and the triangle file is definitely one of my most favorite files uh, because you can really have a very good grip on them like that and I really like it and I really use it a lot. But this one here got a little bit dull, it doesn't bite as well anymore. You can see how shiny uh, the surface has become of the teeth and uh, that's really an indication that the file is gone and need to be replaced. Here you can see a comparison with a brand new file. This one really looks matte while this one really looks shiny. That's because the used teeth make this appearance. And uh, now it's time to bring on a new handle onto the new file. But first I want to take off the old handle uh, just to see if I can reuse this one and if not I will always keep the old handles because if you have a bigger tang on, an, on another file you can always reuse the old handles. I don't have any use for the old file, I'm just going to recycle it together with all the chips from the machining. So now it is time to attach the new handle onto the new file and we're not just going to press it in with force, that won't hold so well. We're going to burn it in, this will make a very strong bond and uh, let's just do it. I'm going to clamp the file in the soft jaws. And now it's time to heat up the tang. Safety is always the highest priority at work, so don't forget your gloves and your safety glasses. Now I'm going to heat up the tang with my torch and then I'm going to hammer on the handle until I reach the position I want. Uh, keep in mind this will produce a lot of smoke, so keep your workspace well ventilated. Uh, let's go. After letting it cool down for a few minutes, this file is now ready to use and I'm very sure this file handle will never come loose during the lifetime of this file. Burning it in just makes a very strong bond between the wood and the metal. And uh, that was already it for this video, thanks for watching.